Yeah, just both up and away fastballs, uh, up and away to Harper, then up and away to Ramos. Two really good hitters. Uh, you make a mistake out over to those guys, they can hurt you. Uh, you know, for me, I thought it was a step forward from where he was the first outing. I, I thought the first inning was excellent. I thought uh, there was significant progress in his fastball command. I thought he gave us, he did give us six innings. Uh, he battled, you know, he stung by the long ball today. Uh, other run came in on kind of just kind of seeing eye singles early in the game where Bowles were squirting through holes. Uh, I thought he was better, though. I thought it was a better effort from him. Yeah, almost all. Of, yeah, almost all of his hits were with two strikes today. I mean, if you look at it, like the three home runs were all with two strikes. Uh, I think it's you know a little bit of function of uh, he's working predominantly on one side of the plate, and you know that's where you get these guys out mostly. But they're very good hitters, and if you live in one specific spot for an extended period of time, uh, they're going to get you. So even if you don't intend to get them out in. Uh, you have to show them in in order to keep them off that pitch away. You intend to get them out with eventually. It doesn't mean you go in for a strike, but in for effect at some point in time that opens a way up again. And, uh, you know, it wasn't necessarily executed that way today, but that's the next step. I actually thought today was a step forward. Yeah, I thought he was better. I mean, one walk was basically intentional, even though it didn't come out as intentional. Uh, the other, he's got one walk in the game other than that. So he was in the strike zone pretty consistently. I uh, don't feel like he had great feel for his slider uh, today, hoping that he had it and hoping that he could finish with it. I think that's where the two strikeouts come in because he just didn't have that pitch to end at bats, and that's kind of where good hitters hang around and end up uh, getting to you, especially if you're one side of the plate dominant. But uh, like I said, he, he's – he was improved from the first outing, so it just keeps taking steps forward. I think a lot of it is, uh, I think you can see him from like a, a hitting perspective. Like today when he decided to homer, he decided to be on the fastball. And it was like aggression in his lower half. Uh, he attacked the baseball. I think he's got... Uh, a little bit more that he's doing with his lower half than he was earlier in the year when he's just kind of taking a small glide step. Uh, he's got a little bit of pushback now where he's kind of getting back into his backside before he fires. And I think that's what's opened up the pull side to him. And those were the home runs, the pull side. He's had that opposite field power all year, but now he's got the ability to cover all pitches at this point in time. So he looks great. Uh, I guess he stuck a ball on the wall out there in right field too. Yeah, he's tall and he jumped high. It was good. Uh, you know, it was a good catch. Uh, you know, it's, he's played good first base. He's been very solid at first base. Uh, for a guy that hadn't played it really prior to this season, uh, he continues to take steps forward. We continue to have discussions with him about different things. The game progresses. There's small, subtle things that he is working on every day that go probably unnoticed to a lot of people. Uh, but he's catching himself now in a lot of things. Uh, he was in for a bunt on Danny Espinosa, for instance, with a pitcher on deck and a runner in scoring position. Go ahead and bunt there. Like, let him have it. Scoot back. Like, he's catching himself. So, like, he's thinking through the game, and those are steps to becoming elite defenders.